What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another brand new episode of our Seattle Kraken franchise mode. Now, if you've been watching the series, you know the playoffs just ended and we were outed in the third round, and I was uh, not happy about it, to say the least. But you know what? We're coming back with a vengeance for year two, and I'd say we're going to be Stanley Cup contenders, baby. Hell yes. Bro, so I'm just in retired player than Henrik Zetterberg. Dude, this guy's been missing for like three years. I haven't seen him anywhere. Like, I'm, I thought he was already retired, dude. I thought maybe he was like the water boy of the Detroit Red Wings. Like, where's he been, man? Same thing with Hosa. Like, these guys have been literally missing for years. Like, they're just retiring now. And look at that. Chara. Chara's illustrious career comes to an end. Do we have anybody? I would highly doubt it. Uh, Nope, nobody. How about Annette? Nope, nobody retires. Nobody wants to leave the Kraken, man. Sickest gig in the league. All right, here we go. The entry draft. First pick overall is the Los Angeles Kings. Where are we at? Let's see. if Do we even have a first round pick or did I trade it? I might have traded it, boys. Oh, no, I didn't. Here we go. 30th overall. Let's see who takes the first pick. First pick, Aturati. A Finnish young man. He's going to be good. How about second? Do we know anybody else? Or is it just going to be like a bunch of random generated guys? It's going to be like Devarius Aginla or something like that, dude. The way these guys generate names. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's just sim right to our pick. 30th overall. And let's see if we can take a gem. Oh, this guy, Francesco Pinelli. I know him. He's real. And he's uh, from Kitchener. I always like taking the real guys. Even if like I know that the the, the made up guys are going to be superstars, I just like drafting real dudes better than uh, drafting like no name people. Oh, Zachary Bolduc from the Rimouski Oceanic. You know what? I know these guys have the stars or whatever, but I don't do anything for scouting, so I don't really care about that. I'm just going to go ahead and take Pinelli. Look at that. He looks beautiful. Top six forward, 52 overall, though. Who does uh, Winnipeg take after us? Okay, okay. So we're, we're, we're right about where we should have been. So he, he should have been right about there at 30th overall. How about uh, the Stanley Cup winning Montreal Canadiens? Okay, they take the Frenchman, Zachary Bolduc. So uh, that's pretty fitting. I'm glad we could have done that. What I like doing is I like taking goaltenders because these guys, you could probably find an elite goaltender in like the second, third, fourth round who can have great trade value. So like this uh, Vasileyev guy, whatever the hell, we'll take him. Okay, medium starter. Like he's going to have some trade value, right? Like he could be a throw in if we want to trade for like somebody big. You know what I mean? All right, we're into the re-sign phase now. And I will tell you guys if somebody is asking for crazy money. Oh boy, Elias. He's a 90 overall at 22 years old and he's in need of a contract. We have $17 million in cap space. I wouldn't be surprised if he asked for all of that. What is he asking for? Oh, that's actually, you know what? For him, that's pretty modest. Seven years at 9 mil for Pedersen. That's actually pretty modest. Honestly, he could have been out here asking for Matthew's money, $11 million. Uh, you know what I mean? He could have been asking for like McDavid money. That He could have been really out of here. $9 million is very nice of him. He must like it in Seattle. So you know what? We'll give it. We'll give that to him. We'll give him nine million for seven years. I'm, I'll be happy to do that. Oh, and Beauvillier. Beauvillier is very important to us because he just had an amazing season with us. He's asking for money. You know what? Can we give him five mil for four years? Would he take that? I, 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 we'll see. Because I mean, I know we're lowballing him a little bit, uh, but he's our second line center now. I think set in stone. I really liked him there. So many free agents. Soros, Soros, come on, man. Tell me you don't want to buy the whole farm. There you go. Thank you. I'll take that. There we go. Hey, 1.2. We'll take that. And then the rest of these scrubs, I don't really give a shit about. So, you know what? Hyman only asking for, let's, let's give him 2.5 for three years. That's very doable for like a third line winger for Hyman. Uh, we'll give him that. But I mean, for 14 goals, that's very reasonable. Okay. Soros resigns. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Beauvillier, we don't have enough cap space for him. Oh, we're in trouble. Okay, well, it's because we signed Hyman. Damn it, what was I thinking? And uh, PD resigned. So that's the biggest one. 
But I really like that Beauvillier, man. And he was going to take the 5 mil. He was going to take the haircut. Okay, do you think he'll take that? What, what, uh, we'll do... Th th let's do four years to start. That's quite a haircut for him, though. But I like this Beauvillier kid a lot. What? Bruh, we don't have that. Is that like all our cap space? Why did he not take that? He's ready to sign for like this low ball offer we're going to give him. Like, what about this? Is he going to be like pissed off and then not want to re-sign with us ever? Okay, he rejects it. Uh, Beauvillier, I want you. I don't want you to be the one that got away, man. God damn you, Zach Hyman. Donato was solid. Okay, 17 goals. But Dubé's three years younger than Donato, and he's the same overall. And he lit up the AHL, so we're going to re-sign Dylan Dubé. Whoa, Dubé, that's big, man, for your first contract. What you thinking here, man? Wait, wait, what's wrong with you? Three mil for three years. We can probably get away with that. How about uh, Garland? Uh, we'll hold off on you for a little bit, Garland. We got some good players wanting to test out the market. Bruh, Dubé denies it. You know what? I'm willing to give Dubé the 3.4 and then we'll make some room for uh, guys like um, Beauvillier. So we'll give we'll give him this money and then we'll kind of just figure out the rest as we go here. Oh my god, Beauvillier. The good thing is he's going to be an RFA, so if somebody does take him, they ha we have the chance to qualify. But I don't know if we'll be able to, man. Let's check out the free agent crop for this year. Nuge is up here. Gallagher, ooh, but we don't need him. We got the daddy. He's like amazing. All right, so one move we're going to make to free up some cap space is Joe Thornton's $3.8 million. I mean, his veteran presence is not worth that much. We're going to send him to Anaheim for a third round pick right here. And it goes through. So right there, we free up quite a bit of cap space just by doing that. Probably enough to sign Beauvillier, but I still want to move some guys out to make more cap space. All right, boys. So we freed up a bunch of cap space here, but I'm getting tempted, dude. Like, I know Beauvillier was here. He gave us an absolutely banging season, dude. 67 points as a second line center, and he's 24. But Nuge, he is juicy, dude. I mean, look at this. He's 28, but he only got two more points than Beauvillier. And he's looking for $8 million, whereas Beauvillier is looking for 5 No, 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 no. I mean, I can't be tempted by this all the time, man. No. We're going for our boy Beauvillier. Wow, I cannot believe that. Dude, why? Can one of you guys explain this to me, man? Because I have no idea how it works. Why does it say in the bottom left that I have $9.5 million in cap space? But I'm only able to give him 4.9. I don't understand that at all. No! Ottawa, you mother Ah, oh, dude! Oh my god. That's like one of the biggest pieces I wanted so bad. Ottawa, you absolute clowns. Oh my god, now we're in trouble. Now we are in trouble. I don't care, bro. I'm not letting this guy go. I'm. I, we got him back. But how come... See, this is what I don't get. Like, how come we couldn't sign him for the money that he asked for, but the 5.79 that he signed with Ottawa can come to us in a trade without me having to give any salary away? Why is it like that? I don't understand. This is so stupid. But no matter, all that matters is we got our boy back. And you know what? I'm happy right now. We get Pedersen, Beauvillier, and Dubé can grow in that third line center spot. Now all we need is a fourth line center. And I know it says we got four right wingers here, but I'd like for DeBrusque and Hyman to both be on the third line. So then over on the right side here, we need one more fourth line right winger. Maybe thinking uh, Corey Perry? Are we saying somebody like that? Uh, we don't know. Something like that. And then in net, we should be set. Because I don't really care about the scrubs who play in the minors. Whoever the hell they want to bring. Go right ahead. But I don't understand this salary cap thing like at all. So, I mean, I don't know who we're going to be able to get. All I know is we need a fourth line center. 
and we need uh, another fourth line winger. All right, guys. So basically, uh, don't believe what you see in the bottom left. The only salary we have left with six cents in a paper clip. That's all we had left uh, to buy some players. So I kind of went on like a mini rampage. I offered contracts to everyone and their dog. Uh, you know, we got Kairou, uh, Goudreau up there, Kara, Grant, Nash, anybody who wants it. I mean, if you'll take six cents and a coupon to Popeye's Chicken, I mean, you can you can be a member of the Seattle Kraken here. So we'll see who signs with us, and we'll see who says, hell no, I don't want to sign for that. Oof, Riley Nash says no. Jujar Kara says no. <laughs> Zajac says no. <laughs> Derek Grant says no. And Kairu says no. Okay, it's because I'm offering two-way deal. I, I don't want to offer a two-way deal. I, just, I don't know if I have any choice, man. How much can we offer for like a one-year deal? All right, guys, so my apologies, but it seems as though this is going to be our lineup because I think there's some kind of glitch with, like, the cap space and stuff. But on right wing, we have Senishin as our fourth line right winger. Uh, he took our coupon to McDonald's, so he decides to play for us. And at the center position, our fourth line center is this guy. I have never heard of him. Malinstin. I have no idea who this guy is. But he took 750k to play for us, so bless your heart. Let's check out his stats. Okay, so he played 82 games in Washington in the in the sim last year. Three goals. That's going to be rough. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to be real with you guys, but I'm hoping you guys can kind of help me out here for uh, the future as far as like how this salary cap thing works. But uh, I don't even want to look at the minors, man. So we're just going to jump right into the season and see how this goes. I'm going to be real with you guys. I goofed up on this one. I know the roster looks weak. I mean, look, our top six is, I mean, I would say not too, too bad. I might be more inclined. Let's check out the line. The scheme fit for Sprong seems like decent. But DeBrusque last season did score 20 goals. I guess this is going to be our lineup. It shouldn't be too, too bad. I mean... I don't know, there's a few guys like Hyman, that was not really a good idea. We'll probably try to ship him out, especially if we start to, to go to shit here. But this Senishin guy, uh, you know, this is kind of rough down here. Good thing is we got a pretty solid defense, I would say, that could maybe help kind of fill the gap there. And then our goalie is like all world. He's incredible, so he could maybe try to close the gap there for us. But uh, hopefully we can kind of try to be as good as we were last season, especially if Pedersen can take a step. And we're going to sim our very first game live. Period 1. 2-1. Two, one. Let's go, Halsey. Two big goals. Period 2, nothing. And let's go. A big 5-1 win. So it seems, as far as the first game goes, my worries were for nothing because we are being carried by our top six. All right, we're going to sim to the end of the month and see what happens. Game two against Pittsburgh. What's going to happen here? 2-1 win. Let's go. Big start from the boys. Islanders, 2-1 loss. It's all right. It's all right. We're on our feet here. We start the, the season with two big wins. That's what you want to be doing. Rangers, 2-1 win. Let's go. Oh, man, my flames are 0-5-0, and we lose. Damn it. We give them their first win. It's okay, it's in a shootout, though. We're 4-1-1. One, we're doing good. Big 4-3 win against the Sharks, baby. All right, so it seems like my worries were for nothing after the first month. We are first in our division, and Pedersen is carrying the load for us here. 7-1-1, one, one. I absolutely love to see it. Who are the leading scorers for our team? All right, Pedersen, Hall, Hyman. Hyman, look at that, dude. He is putting in work. Six goals, tied for the team lead. Let's see what we can do in month two. All right, boys, we're keeping our head above water. That's all we need to do. Just stay above water. Oh, my God. The, the good news is our division is an absolute dumpster fire, like beer league level players in our division. So uh, we're able to win and stay good in our division. The only team that seems to be competing with us right now in our division is the Ducks. Everyone else is just an absolute trash fire. And look at this, Taylor Hall with 18 goals in 23 games, almost went 20 and 20. So he is absolutely lighting it up. And I guarantee you that Pedersen is the one setting him up on all those goals. Yep, I'm correct. Him as well, 30 points in 23 games, 
absolute stud. And the daddy, 24 points. Oh, he's setting everybody up. How's my boy? I stuck my neck out for him, and he comes back and he rewards me with a strong start to the season. 19 points and 23 for Beauvillier, baby. How about Sprong here? Sprong's a bit weak. I think I might throw Hyman up here to play in the top six. Oh my god, 8-5 loss and 5-3, dude, what's happening to our goalies? Oh my god, dude, our goalies got cataracts overnight. There we go, big two. Oh my lord, 10-0 loss to the Avalanche. What is happening, dude? I swear to god, Stevie Wonder's in net for us. Oh my god, dude, we're letting in so many goals, it's unbelievable. Okay, there we go, 5-1 and 5-4. Good thing is we can score a bunch. But holy crap, dude. Okay, okay, now we've stabilized. All right, 23-9-3. I want to play against my hometown boys, the Calgary Flames. Let's go spank them in Seattle, baby. They're in our division. Let's go give them a good run. Oh, my God. As soon as I literally finish my sentence, Brendan Gallagher of the Flames, interesting, lights us up twice, as well as my boy who this channel's named after. Oh, my God. Oh, we almost tie it up. Gurianov and one of our plugs that we got the last minute. Oh my god, this is amazing. The guy who like redeemed his bingo coupon to play for us, Senishin scored. It's alright. We're still in good shape. I mean, uh, I don't want to overreact. Last year, we didn't overreact. We made it to the conference finals. We're only one point behind the Ducks. Hey, we get to go back to our uh, renowned punching bag, the Ottawa Senators. Hey, EA, get the Senators 2D logo in there. What are you still doing with that 3D logo? First period, uh-oh. Maybe I spoke too soon. The former Sen, Bobby Ryan, current Red Wing, period two. Oh my god, 2-1. Oh my god. Ah, oh, did we really just lose to the Ottawa Beer Leaguers? Did we really just do that? Damn it. Uh-oh, we're starting to go on a bit of a skid here. But like I said, we're not going to overreact. Oh my god, dude. How many games are we going to lose? Okay, we're one game worse than the last year Stanley Cup champion Montreal Canadiens. First period, 1-0. Pedersen, 2-1. Last period. Oh my lord, our team just explodes on Price and Primo. Pedersen, Hyman, Petrangelo, it's everywhere, dude. Oh, the Battle of the Pacific Northwest looks different this year because the Canucks absolutely suck. All right, let's go crush them in Vancouver. Show them who's boss, eh? Maybe we'll convert some of those uh, Canucks fans to Kraken fans. First period, 1-1. One, one. We'll take it. It's the daddy. Period 2, we're up by 1. Period 3, it's 2-2. Two, two. I want to walk in in overtime and just end it with Pedersen to really break their hearts. The guy that they drafted. Stop. Oh, oh, we turn a dime. Oh, we couldn't pop it. Halsey, over to Petey. Oh, big stop. Bruh. Big stop. We also got Markstrom. That breaks their hearts. Worse than the... Oh, my God. Besser just crunched Pedersen. Bruh. After all that trash talk I gave to the Canucks, Pedersen... What am I saying? Besser crushes Pedersen and then he goes back and sets up the game winning goal and look at that Pekka Rene is the goalie for the Vancouver Canucks all right guys I'm gonna cut it here for today because I want the trade deadline in the next episode and so you guys can tell me what the hell's going on with the salary cap and all this stuff so let me know what's going on in the comments down below if you want another episode leave a like on this video subscribe and comment I will see you guys in the next one.